Hello and welcome back to Realm of Thrones 4.0. Now we do have a step bandit quest, or shall we say not a step bandit quest, but we're going to be attacking a Dothraki hideout, which is indeed in the the shape of a step bandit hideout, of course. Anyway, we do have that brigand quest from a nearby village. I'm going to attempt to try and eliminate a minor faction vassal in this episode as well. Hopefully we're going to be able to find one because obviously, as someone mentioned, it might be a good idea to attack a minor faction vassal just purely for the fact that you can let them go and gain a significant amount of charm skill. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I was hoping that these tasks that we're doing would consistently give us decent amounts of charm skill because that's what I want. I want to get that 25 level perk that is actually going to provide us with a significant bonus to whenever we um, hopefully achieve victory in tournaments. Oh, that was a nice hit. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised I even hit that. That was nice. Okay, hopefully I'm going to be absolutely fine to continue here because I'm a little bit worried about going into hideouts in general. Obviously, we're not really at too much risk of dying ourselves, but it would be good if I wouldn't, of course. Oh, nice hits. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, my accuracy is apparently not too bad, even though I'm not even zooming in. I'm not even shooting in first person or anything like that. Oh, that was okay. Well, that was it. Okay, that was really, really fast. I really had no idea that we were that close to it, but sure. Okay, here we go. I don't fight duels with brigands, sir. No, I do not. I just shoot my own men in the back. Yeah, I was actually hoping that we could maybe do a little bit. Oh, we actually lost someone right there. Okay, what did we lose? An, oh, an elite pikeman. Okay, well, as someone actually mentioned, pikeman, not that good in the base game. You're going to need RBM to actually make them into something that is going to be relatively good. But the thing is, well, the other option, they also have lances. You know, the other, the other option has lances, so it's not really going to make too much difference. Uh, for me specifically. So anyway, we're just going to take all of the loot, take as much loot as we can get our hands on. And we've already completed the task. Really nice and easy. Real nice and easy. And hopefully we're going to be able to continue running around here. Oh, my relation increased by two with nearby notables as well. That's actually really useful too. Okay, so now that we obviously have a pretty significant bonus to our um, party capacity, I'm also looking to do escort caravan missions. I'm very much hoping that we'll be able to do that. I'm at 20. Oh, look at this. I'm at 23. I just need another two points. Oh, no. I just need another two. Ah, oh, that's going to be impossible, isn't it? Okay. Mm. Gang needs recruits. Gang leader needs weapons. Uh, yeah, that's not really going to work out too well. Oh, hello. Who are you, sir? Oh, you're a good steward person. Oh, we might want to get him, to be honest. He might be our first companion. He, he might be our first companion. Technically, uh, as someone mentioned in the comments as well, you can uh, install Distinguished Service and then you can, you know, level up your units into specific companion slots and you can make, um, you know, roles that are unique to them. So if you wanted to have a steward, if you wanted to have a medic, a scout and so on and so forth, then you could very much customize your experience a little bit deeper than it is right now. But for me personally, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested to see what happens with just the base game companions or the, the companions that are present in the mod. I think that's probably going to be the best idea for me. So I'm actually just going to go and have a look at this guy. Okay, it's 550. We just got basically 550 from that quest. So I'm pretty happy to get him. And let's just go and give him a bunch of stuff, shall we? So let me see. here. I have no shield for him. That is a pretty big problem, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, whatever the case, I'm just going to wait here for a little bit of time. I was actually hopeful that we would be able to do a caravan escort mission, but there is a tournament here. Uh, did we actually? No, we don't actually gain charm skill for accepting companions, which I don't know. I, I feel like maybe you should. Well, well, never mind. Valyrian soldier, soldier pauldrons. Ooh, they are looking real good. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I can actually achieve victory here. This would be nice because Valyrian soldier armor, I'm very much looking out for that. That is definitely going to be probably better than what we're wearing, right? I mean, I'm, I'm mostly wearing things for the stats at the moment because we need as much protection as possible in the early game. And maybe, just maybe, we, uh, you know, we take a massive hit and then we're just going to be thankful that we have that armor and that extra protection. 
because that is indeed the only reason why I'm wearing this armor right now. It just seemed to be the best for uh, the current situation. We just didn't have anything better. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> that, was a, that was a pretty easy elimination right there. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, so obviously doing tournaments in Valerian territory is actually pretty good. I actually feel pretty confident. Oh, this is our companion here. Okay, I don't have to worry about him. He literally has no armor whatsoever. I am going to be buying him some additional armor after this, or I'm going to be giving him some of the armor that I'm wearing. Either way, you know, I'm just going to see what we can do about that, because obviously at the moment he really doesn't have any selection whatsoever. He's wearing basically the worst stuff that he could, apart from being completely without any gear. So it's going to be a good idea for me to try and see if we can outfit him into something or just give him a ha hand-me-downs you know what I mean just kind of do that that was an extremely fast tournament very nice to see that and as we know we've now got the pauldrons which is great that means that we can now wear that and then we can hopefully um, buy some additional stuff for our companion here or we can just upgrade ourselves so as you can see this is much much better than what we were wearing beforehand so that's fantastic let's have a look and see whether we can get anything else Ooh, valyrian lord pauldrons right we're definitely going to be going for some of those a little bit later on down the line Ooh, okay so wait a minute what's actually going on here because this surcoat is as you can quite clearly tell basically the same raw stats wise as the fine dothraki armor which is what i'm wearing right now you can see that pretty clearly because obviously 30 body armor to 25 leg armor 10 to 15 arm armor you know seven so on and so forth it is a little better of course but only by a small margin i'm actually kind of uh kind of surprised about that considering it is 11,000. so i i guess i'm gonna i, I guess i will buy it because it is it is 11,000 though, but I, I guess I will buy it just because we need something else to give to our companion. And that kind of makes sense, I suppose. I don't really want to spend anything else though. These these uh, pauldrons are actually really good though. Um, but it's 2.6k. I don't really want to spend anything more than I need to right now. Because as I've said, our economy is not that good. You know, we can't just throw away cash wherever we want to you know what i mean so i'm just gonna do this for the moment and we're just gonna have him wearing this stuff because he is obviously going to be um i think he's going to be pretty decent here now and can we just get some regular random shield for him i don't really want him to die instantly so we're just going to give him that what other skills does he even have he's more of a two-handed weapon user uh-huh okay so yeah he's more of a two-handed weapon user so that's kind of weird because i don't think we can actually even give him a two-handed can we i don't think so two-handeds are extremely rare early on as you can see there's basically just this axe and that's pretty much it i could give him a pole arm but does he have any riding skill he has a one in riding skill, so no. So he's basically going to be an infantry person, and he's pretty much just going to run around with the infantry, and that's it. That's what he's going to do. Uh, I don't really want to buy anything else for him. I could buy him a helmet, but the only helmet available here, as you can see, is 1.8k, which I don't really want to spend, because we're already spending a significant amount. So we're just going to do this. There we go. And now I'm going to go over to Illyria real quick because what I want to do is I want to try and find a task that is actually going to award us some pretty good benefits. And I'm talking about experience and money in the same, you know, one fell swoop. Oh, we have another tournament going on here as well, but I'd like to do this task. Oh, okay. Escort Merchant Caravan Quest. Right. Okay. I'd like to do it. I would like to do it, but I am a bit skeptical whether we will be even be able to. That's the that's the problem here. All right, let me just have a, have a quick look. Okay, what can I spec into? I guess athletics. Athletics is going to be kind of kind of decent for us right here. Okay, so he's obviously our steward, right? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put him as the quartermaster. He has 69 in steward, which is actually pretty good, surprisingly enough. So we're just going to do that. And we could technically just take a look and see what they have. Ooh, Valyrian Soldier Braces. Okay, fine, fine. We're going to go and do the tournament first. Then we'll do the Escort Merchant Caravan. And uh, hopefully these braces are better than what I'm wearing. I think they're basically the same. Wait a minute. Do, 
Don't we already have these? I think we actually already have these, so it's not really that good, but it's fine because it's going to be something good for Garen here. He just got himself. Oh no, he never mind. He's murdering. He's murdering everyone. Oh no. Oh, are you serious? Okay, kill him, please. Kill him. Yes. Okay, here we go. I just got shot. That was really, really bad. Okay, yeah, that Outrider is... Okay, can you, uh, can you actually just... Yeah, 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 he's coming in. He's coming in from, from behind. Yes. Yes. Nice, he's dead. Ho ho! No, oh, that, that was... That was kind of... <laughs> that was hectic, wasn't it? That was very hectic indeed. The clanging of blades in the night. Uh, very much in the night. I'm not sure why the tournament is even being held at, at night time, but yeah, there you go. Anyway, this is an elite pikeman. Oh dear. Okay, this is problematic. Okay, well, I just have to continue kind of uh, circling them a little bit to try and maximize the uptime that I have on this one opponent. And then we can actually start eliminating them a little bit more accurately. Okay, this guy, he he has some good skills. Don't get me wrong. This companion actually has really, really good skills. He's just got no helmet, so if I hit him on the head, I should be able to do massive damage, as you can see right there. And yeah, he's actually making it all the way through, isn't he? No, no, he didn't. Okay, Mark Mandrake is the one that is now through to the final round, and he was the fellow that we actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with previously. And he actually almost defeated us, so that's something to be very careful of. Not sure if we're even going to be able to, but let's try it. There we go. Not a bad victory there. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I kind of wish I had a thrown weapon or something like that. That would be, be kind of nice. Okay, yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen for that one quick second because I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to use my shield here and as soon as I used my shield to shield bash him, that's when he went for the really, really quick thrust and got in just before I was able to deal the damage or just before I was able to stun him with the shield bash. That's actually the primary reason why I never use shield bash. It just comes out way too slowly and... Those are the kinds of things that happened to me then. Anyway, <laughs> that's just how it goes. Okay, swing speed. I mean, to be fair, I only have 51 in one-handed. And as far as I'm aware, Mark Mandrake has an insane amount. He has how many? 246. Okay, yeah, he's got 246. No wonder he is able to beat us in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Uh, yeah, but I would have, I would have probably been able to achieve victory there. But you know how it goes. Sometimes you're just not able to. Anyway, there we go. Let's do the Escort Merchant Caravan quest. I don't actually need the braces as far as I remember. Because if you see here, I'm actually already using the Valyrian Soldier braces. It would have been good for uh, Garen here. That would have been a pretty big upgrade for him. But, I mean, he's he's infantry. He's, he's probably going to be pretty fine the way he is, you know, without it. So, anyway, we're just going to be following these guys. We're going to be attacked by... Hopefully not too many bandits, but just enough. <laughs> oh, 40 of them. Oh, no. And they're pirates as well, aren't they? Oh, no, no. They're mounted pillagers and ransackers. Okay, that should be fine. I'm very much hoping that that should be fine. Let's just get this guy up here, and we'll just go straight on in and help out. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're looking all right. We're looking all right in regards to our combat strength, but... 
Yeah, uh, that doesn't mean anything really some of the time, you know, you kind of think to yourself, oh yes, I'm fine in combat strength, but then as soon as you go into the fight, then you all of a sudden just lose half your forces in, you know, under 10 seconds or whatever. I mean, usually that doesn't happen, of course, but there's always a possibility. Okay, let's not die then. Okay, I'm doing damage to horses, which is obviously not exactly what we want to do, but these guys are, in fact, mostly mounted cavalry and mounted horse archers and so on. So it was probably going to be a good idea for me to try and take them off their mounts if I can. Okay, my forces are not doing too badly so far. Can I tell my... Oh yeah, I've only got a few cavalry, so I might as well make good use of them. And we're going to try to... Yes. Okay, I need more of this, please. Yes, there we go. Oh, I can't believe I mistimed that. Okay, that was kind of interesting. Now the question is, is it better for me to take out my bow and actually do damage with that? Or is it better for me to just continue attacking them with the polearm? Because for me personally, I think it's probably easier for me to kill them with the polearm. As we've seen, it does so much damage, but I do need to level up my archery skill. And what better way to level up archery than with these guys that are not really dealing too much damage to us right now? I mean, how many have they actually eliminated? That's the question. I don't really want to have a look just yet because I could potentially be uh, killed pretty easily. Oh, there we go. We actually gained a level. Very nice. And can I just... Okay, I'm just going to get out my bow actually and just do this. Oh, never mind. I was going to say just do this the old-fashioned way, but no. It doesn't seem like we need to do that. And how are we doing otherwise? Okay, so we've lost actually zero. We've lost zero people right now. Okay, that's really interesting. I would have wholeheartedly expected us to lose some, but apparently the uh, allied forces were the ones to sustain the most casualties, which is obviously not great, but I can't really help that, can I? You know, if they decide to charge themselves in or whatever, then that's what they're going to do. Anyway, there we go. Uh, I would like to try to capture as many of these people as possible as well, because if we can find a manual laborer quest, that's actually going to provide us with a significant benefit. So I will try to go to each of the nearby villages and we'll see if we can maybe find one of those because it's going to take us hopefully not too long to complete the quest in total. And it'll probably not take us as long as it uh, as the duration of the manual laborer quest at least. So we should be absolutely fine. Anyway, we only took nine of them prisoner. We got 80% of the loot, so that means, that means we do a pretty good amount. Yeah, we did pretty good damage there. Anyway, I'm just going to auto-resolve the rest of the fight there. Get eight prisoners. We got some more level ups. Let's just go for some more bowmen here. There we go. Only 475 to upgrade them. We've got a bunch of other things available here. And we can now upgrade Garen, who is apparently wearing some better... Well, what? What is he actually... He's using a better sword and a variety of other things. Okay, well, that's good to know. He doesn't have a helmet, though. Where Where is the helmet here? We're not getting any helmets. Okay, well, that's that's not so good. But, you know, we'll, we'll just hope that there is one coming up shortly for him. Because he's going to need one if we're going to go up against horse archers all the time. Because they're going to try and shoot him in the face. And he's probably going to get eliminated almost immediately. Anyway, we did actually level up quite significantly. We're obviously going to be going for Sagittarius. There's really no other way about it because literally, come on, minus 15% accuracy penalty while mounted. Absolutely perfect for us. And we also have this, oh, thrust damage or swing speed. Uh, I, I don't actually know what to go for here, to be honest, because if I go for a swing speed polearm or a swinging polearm, I, I, I don't really care about the swing speed that much. 
but I also do not really care about the thrust damage either way, because if, I, if I'm actually going to be thrusting at someone with my pole arm, I'm probably going to kill them instantly, because it just does so much damage anyway. Because most of the time, when, when you see me thrusting against these people, they're, ro they're riding at me, you know, straight up. They're just riding at me. And if I then take 10% thrust damage and increase that, it's just it's still going to be a one-hit kill. So I'm not entirely sure. I guess I'll just go for the thrust damage because that's what we're using at the moment. But maybe later down the line we'll respec and we'll see what we can do, reevaluate what um, what's good for us at that moment. Um, so yeah, anyway... Smithing. Okay, so smithing is definitely something that I'd like to do. Uh, but I think I probably have to do that off screen because it's just going to take way too long. Otherwise, I don't think I have the mod that gives me um, unlimited stamina because personally, I don't like the stamina system at all. I don't like waiting around in the town and so on and so forth. Don't really mind doing that if I'm streaming because I think that's actually a lot of fun to, to talk and interact uh, with those of you in the chat. But when I'm recording, doing that is just unnecessary busy work and it's just annoying. So I'm going to probably do smithing off screen and, and I'll show the highlights of what actually happens there. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I will probably go for the last point in charm. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I can really do. Okay, so let's just have a quick look and see if there's a task here. No, there isn't. Okay, sad. There is actually a tournament going on at Astapor as well, which might actually be pretty good for us. Okay, wait a minute. Let's just have a quick look at... Ooh, Unsullied. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to maybe getting some Unsullied, um, uh, some unsullied troops. Not sure how that's going to really work, but hopefully we'll be able to at some point. There is a wonderful sword here. This is actually a really good sword. Look at the length on this thing. 107 length. Yeah, that's a really, really good sword if you want to, you know, use a one-handed on, on horseback or something like that. There is an Unsullied Pikeman Shield. This is obviously fantastic. Don't know whether I really want to spend 2,000 on it, though. There's a Targaryen Shield as well. That's only 1,000. Okay, sure. Why not? Let's just equip that. Look at that. Oh, look at how cool that looks. That looks real cool. Okay, I like that. Thank you very much. I like the gold accents. Or, shall we say, the gold of everything. Yes, it's, it's wonderful. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's fine. He can, I mean, he's got a pretty decent shield as it is. I don't really want to spend 10,000 on a helmet. So I'm probably going to just leave him the way he is, unfortunately. And there is a tournament here, as I said. So I think I will probably go in. Ah, there is a helmet available. Okay, so what do I... <laughs> Yeah, we better, we better succeed here. Because if we succeed, that means that we're going to get this helmet for me. And then I'm going to give him my old helmet. And uh, yeah, okay, well, let's... Oh, no, you gave, me a, you gave me a crossbow. No. Why did you give me a crossbow, sir? This is actually not even bad. I actually like this crossbow. Okay, that guy got a he nice headshot. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I didn't even... You know what? This crossbow is actually fantastic. What's what's actually going on with this thing? Look at look at how easy it is to get headshots with this. What? I, I'm actually surprised. I, I... I don't know. Usually I'm... I, I don't know. I think crossbows are probably my least favorite ranged weapon. But... This crossbow in general has so much accuracy. I have no crossbow skill whatsoever, but just look at the accuracy I'm able to get here. If I was a little bit better, I'd be able to get a headshot almost every single time. I mean, look at that. Headshot. Oh yeah, reloading is kind of annoying as well with this, but it's fine because I can just avoid this fellow. Nice. Look at that. Look, look at how easy it is to get headshots with this thing. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, as I say, very surprised, very impressed actually. Because when I see myself getting a crossbow, I always think, ah, oh, yeah, getting, giving me a crossbow, that's going to be kind of annoying, isn't it? But no, look at how much damage I'm able to deal with basically zero crossbow skill. I don't have any, I don't think. I, I think I have how much? 15 or something like that r right now? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't have a lot at all. For some reason, my, my, my person, my, uh, my fellow that is on my team is just absolutely awful 
at shooting his bow, which is very funny because he's literally right in front of the guy. It's like a stormtrooper. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether you've seen that clip of the uh, the latest um, <laughs> the latest Star Wars game. Someone was playing it and they were literally hanging off the ledge, and uh, the stormtroopers were firing at the player character and just missing all the time. I thought that was very funny because let's face it, you know that's exactly what stormtroopers stormtroopers do. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of reminded me of this guy, literally just standing point blank range, unable to hit with the bow. And that just must mean that he has literally zero bow skill, I assume. Okay, there we go. Now that is where the 10% thrust damage actually did make some uh, pretty good difference. So I, I, guess it, I guess it's actually coming in a little bit handy, right? I think it is coming in a little bit handy. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can win against a Giscari Queen's Guard. I assume these are actually relatively high tier. Okay, uh, not relatively high tier, apparently relatively easy tier. <laughs> anyway, there we go. We were able to actually get something useful, because obviously the braces from that previous tournament that we attempted to get, they weren't that useful for us. I mean, yes, they were a pretty significant upgrade for our companion, but apart from that, they weren't really, you know, anything to write home about. So now we have the ability to give him a new helmet. Look at how, look at how amazing he looks. Oh yes, he looks absolutely amazing. Look at him. He is just a, a picture of beauty and elegance. Oh yes, what a wonderful, wonderful thing indeed. Okay, <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Anyway, oh, 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 you're going back? You're going back? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just alt-click, you know, alt-click to uh, follow them. And uh, do I need to level up anyone? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, this is because of my quartermaster. So my quartermaster has actually been assigned. And as you can see, he's giving me significantly more capacity for troops. So what I need to do is I need to stop off here, get some of these guys... Got to be a bit careful about doing this stuff as well because I am going to inevitably be running a lot slower than we otherwise would be if I had a smaller army. Um, but that just means that I need to increase the amount of horses that I get so that I can maintain that speed, just in case. Because you never know. Okay, like for example right now, this could have gone really, really badly because these guys literally could have just straight up eliminated this, this uh, caravan without me even being able to make it there in time. Uh, but thankfully we were able to make it there. Okay, so they have 40 and we have 60. I should be okay. Because obviously last time we pretty much dominated them in almost every aspect. But... That, again, it depends on if I get eliminated myself, and it also depends on how I um, how I react to the various polearm users on the enemy side. Like, for example, I've just distracted a huge swathe of them right now, and it's making everything so much easier for my own forces, because they're now in a situation where they can just freely fire away at the opponent. But I've got to be careful here, as you can see. I've got to be super, super careful. I cannot get eliminated because if I get eliminated I think I'm probably going to lose this actually all things considered because um, I don't know how many enemies I eliminated in that previous fight but I felt like I was actually doing quite well and I was actually quite efficient but I could be wrong about that of course I, I don't know I didn't take note of how many I killed but I'm just saying I feel like it really makes a huge difference if the player character actually does some damage and you can see here, we are doing some pretty good damage. All things considered, every single time we go and attack someone, please don't kill my horse. I would very much appreciate that. But yeah, as you can see, the enemy is actually already dead. They are already dead. I actually wonder whether that was because I distracted the primary charge that they did initially. Maybe that's it? I don't know, because from what I can tell, that might very well have been the linchpin of, of their demise, to be honest. Because, I mean, literally, just look at what's happening here. They were unable to inflict any damage whatsoever. And they've just lost how many units? 37 units in no time at all. And I think we can probably thank 
the uh, the distraction at the start because they were unable to charge straight on into our infantry they were unable to harass our archers and everything and look at that we basically took no casualties whatsoever we got 92 percent of the loot which is actually very good and i will take all of the prisoners here we got a bunch of people leveling up of course Let's get uh, squires here, and we have oh, we, we're getting some more um, some more knights as well, which is obviously very good. I like that, and we can actually just give him some. <laughs> oh, these gloves are terrible. All right, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to get him some better gloves, don't we? We really need to get him some better gloves. It's just an absolute travesty at the moment. Uh, I don't know. I, I could probably buy some braces for him for not even that much, to be honest. So I should probably do that. Uh, these broken men are actually attempting to attack, but there is a vassal nearby to us, so we will just literally go in, auto-resolve with them. And uh, we now discovered her as well, which I suppose is decent. And, oh, really? Oh, they want to go somewhere else. Okay, that's interesting. That means that I should really recruit some more people. I thought that was the last stop, to be honest. I thought that's what we were going to have, and uh, I should probably just continue selling some stuff here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep all of this stuff just in case we do end up doing some smithing, and then we'll uh, hopefully be able to smelt it and all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to go to Volantis. Okay, let me just take a quick look at... Ah, okay, so this is the final stop. So we need to do one more. One more fight and I'm hopeful that we'll come across... Wait a minute. Uh, there's probably a manual labor quest over there because that's an iron ore village. Well, there might be one here. There might be one here. Usually they have uh, manual labor quests in silver ore, iron ore, and salt villages. At least that's what I've um, seen over the course of my time playing, but obviously they could increase that to other things as well. I think there are... Um, I think it's clay, actually. Clay as well is also a pretty big, you know, manual laborer requirement thing. So, you know, generally that's that's going to be, you know, pretty prevalent there. Anyway, let me see what I can do. Ooh, okay, wait a minute. These guys are actually looking really, really bad. This is a bad place for them to fight. If we can get there in time, which I highly doubt, but if I can maybe distract them a little bit, then we might be okay. If they can just follow me. There we go. Don't get killed now. Don't get killed. But yeah, look at look at the distraction. Oh, some of them were actually even falling off. That's pretty perfect. Yeah, this is exactly what we wanted. And now we can tell our forces to charge in. Just going to continue trying to block some people here. Don't get killed now, sir. Okay, I've got to be careful. Wow. Yeah, so some of these guys could have easily dialed my number, but... Oh, like that. Ow. Okay, that really hurt. Okay, I'm going to have to get out of here now. I kind of just wanted to distract them as much as I possibly could because I wanted them to be in this location. I wanted them to fight up here. Um, because this is literally one of the worst places for horse archers to fight because they don't have the ability to accurately run around. And they don't have clear line of sight most of the time. It's going to be a lot easier for us to deal with them. Unfortunately, they are now switching to their swords and attempting to eliminate me that way. Oh no, get away from me, sir. Thank you. All right, we should be fine. Uh, let me just tell my own cavalry to charge in. But yeah, this is exactly the reason why I wanted to distract them up there so that they wouldn't come down off the elevation. Because you can see just how easy it was to now eliminate them. So, so much simpler than if we would have allowed them to come down. And that's the point. Even if, now here's the funny thing, even if we had gotten all the way on here, which is exactly what I wanted us to do, actually, they wouldn't have had enough space to run around us in the circular formation that they usually go for. Now, I'm talking about horse archers here, of course. And it would have just resulted even in even more casualties for the opponent. So, yeah, I mean, you can see exactly the reason why that happened. Look at that. It's just so incredibly simple. We did get some wonderful renown gains for that too. Massive amounts of experience as well, which is exactly what we're looking for here. And we've got some more knights to add to our party. And look at this. We've got even more weapons and everything. I wonder whether anything is for... Okay, what? Equips Pilgrim Hood. I'm sure you're not equipping the Pilgrim Hood, sir. The Pilgrim Hood is not good for you. Is it? No. 
As you can quite clearly tell, no, it is not good for him. Okay, I should probably equip that banner on him, shouldn't I? Yeah, I am sure someone has already commented that I should have uh, put that on him before going into these fights. Yes, I probably should have done that. Oh, well, never mind. There you go, I've done it now, so that's wonderful. <laughs> anyway, let's see. No, there is no task here. The, this particular caravan is literally looking like the worst it could be. Off, it's literally got one person in it, and as you can see, every single... Uh, every single man and his best friend wants to attack this caravan, just purely for the fact that it is so incredibly weak. Anyone could take it out, and there you go. Okay, good. We did it. 2,400. Let's go over to the Iron Ore Village. I'm very much hoping that we'll be able to... Ah, hello! Someone wants us to become a mercenary. Who is it? Lise. Oh. Uh, I'm going to say no, actually, to that. I, 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 That's the thing. Okay. Here's the deal. I obviously want to join the Valerians. Obviously, I want to join them because that's the whole, that's the whole deal with this. I'd like to uh, help Daenerys to conquer the lands. That's kind of the, the point of the series so far. Um, but I'm, I'm still also kind of thinking, you know what, maybe we should actually, you know, go and, uh, become a mercenary of someone else because then we can actually earn a huge amount of cash. And in doing so, we then, you know, g gain so much more power. And if we gain power, then that just becomes better for the, you know, inevitable conquering of other lands when we join Daenerys in her campaign. What is this? What is this? I have no idea. Okay, something just... Whoa, this is very cool. Okay, I love this. A messenger approaches your party with a look of concern on his face. My lord, he says. I have great. I have news of great import, in actual fact. It is said that Stannis Baratheon has turned to a red priestess of R'hllor for aid in his bid for the Iron Throne. The rumors say that she wields great power and has convinced Stannis to resort to dark magic to defeat his own brother, Renly Baratheon. The messenger's words... Leave you with a sense of unease. You have to make a choice. Will you attempt to intervene and put a stop to Stannis' actions, or will you sit back and let the events unfold? The outcome of this conflict may have far-reaching consequences for the realm. Right. Okay, well, that's very cool. <laughs> that is a cool, cool screen. I love that. Okay, yeah, those are the kinds of things that I really, really like. It, it just increases the amount of immersion that you're going to have in the mod in general. I have no idea. I don't think that was in the previous version when I played before. I don't think that was in the previous version. So that's actually a super nice little uh, little feature there, little improvement that I like a lot. Okay. Anyway, uh, it seems like there aren't many places where manual laborers are actually giving us that quest. Uh, deliver the herd. I mean, delivering a herd quest is actually pretty good. We shouldn't really um, stick our noses up at that or anything like that, but... Uh, needs help with brigands. Ah, I don't want to do that, you... I mean, I kind of do, because, as I said before, it's all cash, you know? It's all cash. It's all it's all useful. But I really, really want to find a manual laborer quest. I actually wonder... Ooh, hello. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't check this one, and we haven't checked that other one. Okay, so we're just going to run over there real fast. It actually reminds me... Oh, we finally got it. Okay, we finally got to 25 char. That's wonderful. Plus three renown when the tournament is won. That is going to be absolutely perfect. Raise the Meek is probably what I'm going to be getting first as well. I personally prefer leveling up uh, Tier 1 and Tier 2 troops really, really quickly. Uh, instead of leveling up everyone uh, a little bit slower. You know, I personally prefer that because... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a personal preference thing. Anyway, um, I'm very much hoping that we'll be able to find a manual labor request here if not then that's absolutely fine but yeah that actually uh what i was about to say beforehand by the way is that um i was i, I really should install that mod that allows you to uh, speed up the game just that much faster um and uh yeah that would make things like traveling around much quicker for me so i'm kind of thinking that yeah we're probably gonna do something about that the, oh the, the wages are actually kind of harsh right now so I think what we're going to have to do is either do some more tournaments or I will do some more tournaments. I mean, let me know if you want to see more tournaments, to be honest, because I'm perfectly happy to show them. But if you don't want to see those, then obviously it's, it doesn't really, you know, it's not really uh, not really useful for me then. You know, I might as well just do it off screen. You know what I mean? Anyway, 
uh, yeah, do tournaments, try to get a noble mount, potentially. I kind of want to fight these 15 mountain bandits. Oh, hello. Okay, wait a minute. Look at this. Aegon Targaryen himself is actually offering us to become a mercenary. Gonna say yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. So this is our allies now. These are our allies. And who are we up against? Who, who are we... Uh, who are we who are we fighting who are we okay <laughs> wait wait a minute these guys are you serious right now these fellows the yt Ye exiles i have never heard of these people ever before i have no idea who these people are i'm sorry i really don't know but um yeah apparently that is who we are at war against which is actually fine this is perfect for me because they're far away, we're probably not going to be getting into any battles with them, which is obviously sad, you know, because I'd, I'd like to go into a battle with them, of course. But the benefit of this is that I am now going to be able to enter combat, any particular kind of combat, and I'll be able to gain significant rewards as a result. Oh, hello. Okay, wait a minute, what's actually going on here? A messenger approaches your party, his face pale and voice trembling. My lord... I bear dark tidings, he stammers. Renly Baratheon has been slain in his camp by a shadowy wraith. The whispers claim that the wraith bore the visage of Stannis, Stannis himself. In the wake of this tragedy, Renly's bannermen have pledged their fealty to Stannis, who now controls Storm's End. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> the turn of events leaves you pondering your next move. Stannis' newfound power could make him a valuable ally, or it could be used against you should his ambitions go unchecked. Will you hold Stannis accountable for his actions, or join forces with him to seize the opportunities this new alliance may offer? And once again, very much love what they're doing with these uh, story-based pop-ups. I think that's super, super cool. And the Stormlands is apparently no more as a result of this particular action. And does that mean that they have now increased? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, they've now increased their overall reach. And yeah, the uh, Dragonstone. Dragonstone faction has uh, taken over um, Storm's End. And the reach has taken this. Um, Dragonstone's taken that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reach and Dragonstone have kind of split the remaining fiefs between them. Or have they? Am I reading this right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am reading that right. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Dragonstone is now insanely large, as you can quite clearly tell. So, if I take a look at the diplomacy screen here, now that we are a part of a faction, we do have access to, to the kingdom screen now, because before we didn't. So, let's take a look and actually see. Dragonstone, 4,400. That's actually not that much. I personally feel like it hasn't updated yet, potentially. Um, but they're going to be gaining a lot more combat strength over time because they just have so many thieves, you know? They just have so many thieves, it really makes a huge difference for them. Anyway, I would have liked to have gotten into a battle with these fellows, but they are really making it kind of hard for me to catch up with them. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that. Anyway, I will now be... What should I actually spec into? Because I want to find people that do engineering... I want to find a person that does medicine and I don't really, uh, I mean, we've already got a steward as well. So it's not really necessary for me to do anything else. I guess I could, as I say, do a focus point into smithing. Do I want anything else? Do I want anything else? Yeah, we'll just do a focus point in smithing. Why not? Just, just to prepare, just in case, okay? Just in case. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for this episode. I'm going to try and find a manual laborer quest myself. Not sure if I'm even going to be able to, because it seems like it's quite rare in this area. Maybe I'll go a little bit further afield, head into Volantis territory or something like that. Anyway, next time we're maybe going to be fighting in some other kinds of battles, because, uh, well, if we go all the way over here, we should be able to fight these fellows, and I have no idea who they are. So I guess that's going to be interesting. As you can see, uh, they are not that powerful. So shouldn't be too bad for us to fight, right? Might be quite fun. Anyway, that's going to be it. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.